Hello everybody, we want to start with the bare bow, the long bow or the recurve and uh, on the second part of the guide we will be talking about the compound bow each one's got the pros and the cons so let's go with the long bow First of all, I got a full draw, three points, so I can hold my breath longer for when it's necessary. And I got like a pro, which makes me life easier when I need to shoot from prompt position. Okay, let's start with the Alexander Longbow Ash. Only weighs two and a half kilo and is more intuitive to use. And let's start with 70 meters. So we have to rise like half centimeter from the bullseye. Now let's go to 40 meters, so 35. Well, there we go. Aim straight to the bullseye. Now 25 meters and a straight aim to the bullseye same here on 20 and 15 meters aim to the bullseye it is for me much more easier to use than the other bow uh, let's give it a go again 70 meters as you can see i am high, a little bit higher Otherwise, I would miss. Um, now I'm aiming a bit lower for 35 because I'm zeroing for 40. Always keep an eye on the zeroing. The max zeroing for the balls is 60 meters. Okay, this was the longbow ash. It's more intuitive for me and much more fun to use than the compound I'm gonna tell the dog to lay down and let's go again see I use the tip of the arrow and aim a bit higher because I'm aiming for 70 meters 0 to the 60 now I am a bit lower because I'm 0 to 40 and I'm aiming 35 and now I'm going for 25 meters uh, I go for the red dot mm -hmm. and same with 20 and 15 meters I am straight to the red dot to see where the point of the arrow is aiming it's very easy to use once you get used to it and it's lots of fun I rather to use this bow because it's much lighter and the compound and it's faster to use more intuitive as i said and as i said it's fun to use you can even kill rabbits with one shot as you can see i'm afraid to rub it and then it's a lot of lots of fun to use and you know it's as well the best weapon for self-defense uh, because uh, you never run out of ammo, you don't have to recharge and it, for me it's much easier to use the uh, handgun I don't know what, when I use handguns I always botch the animals when I, when I use the bow I'm much more accurate there we are, a hard shot on a bison as well, if you are a trophy hunter, you're gonna need to do 10 hard shots with the Alexander Longbow. To get the You Give Love a Bad Name trophy, as you can see here. I unlocked it. Uh, uh, when you get used to the bow, it's really easy to do hard shots. Such was this case. I did a hard shot on a bison for. for from quite a long distance and as well I unlocked another trophy heavy weight there you are a hard shot with the Alexander Gumbo 
uh, it's a lot of fun and it only it only weighs two and a half kilo there you are now we're gonna see that you can take down a ton of animals from a distance with all spooking the animals around such as this case first bison was going down second bison is going down as well as you can see on the health now i'm gonna crow and gonna get close because they didn't spook and take another two with the bow if they shoot the rifle they will bolt and flee using the bow they stay there and i can take four or even more if i wanted to as you can see the other one third one is down and now let's go for the fourth one and going down as well Four bisons and nothing. No time with the Alexander Lombo. Easy money and very much fun. There we go. We're harvesting the bison for your shot with the Alexander Longbow. I wasn't looking for hard shots here because I already had my achievement so I don't have to worry about hard shots anymore but anyway it will happen naturally even if you don't look to do it it will happen naturally so if you want to do the platinum for this game you're gonna have to get used to the Alexander longbow and that's the number fourth and as you can see we got four bisons in no time using the alexander longbow and now self-defense again against wolves for me is my favorite weapon of choice because it's easy fast to reload and I don't budge to animals if I use a hand then I always hit them in the head I don't know why but I always manage to hit them on the head if I use a bow I get better results and it's much faster but now I got a potential diamond here I'm going to shoot him with a uh, 7 millimeters. But when I go to pick him up, I get attacked by his back. So what I do is a nice diamond, by the way, with a hard shot. Uh, not with a bow, with 7 millimeters, but I go in the water. When I get attacked by wolf, if you can go to water, and then use the bow or the handgun, whatever weapon you're carrying, as you can see. When I use the bow, I don't watch them. If I use the pistol or handgun, I always hit them on the head. <laughs> so I already use the bow. It's much more natural for me to use. And it, it is uh, fun. I, I like uh, bow hunting a lot. Okay, and then just go pick up these guys. But they got angry because I killed their alpha, the diamond. And as you can see, I killed uh, quite a lot of them with the bow. Okay. It's very, at the beginning it's a bit difficult, but once you get used to it, this uh, really, really uh, easy to use. If I use the compound, I take my time, I don't know, but I can't seem to get used to the compound bow. I only 
use the compound when I'm hunting coyote or oh, I need to do uh, hard shots so I need to be certain to hit the heart that's the only time I use the combo which is this one the Razor Backlight CB60 which is 60 pound uh, draw with the right side rage finder both sides the bad thing is it is heavy just two kilo on the side plus the ball three and point uh, a three point five kilo is a lot so how would you use with this thing we aim to the target with the red dot and it press the square on playstation and then shoot where the green dot is if you can see it I get uh, worse results using this bow than the long bow I don't know why I can't seem to get used to use this bow but uh, yeah M press the square where, where the road, red dot is and then shoot where the green dot is but I struggle I struggle with this bow uh, I can't seem to get used to it especially in long distance I trust the long bow much more than this one but that's just me okay I have to take my time to use this one in this case we needed a hard shot on the mood for a mission so I use compound as you can see even with the wrong ammo I managed to do a hard shot and uh, brown arrows in this case and pass the mission when it's uh, for missions I use this one uh, this was just a hard shot on a bear uh, I used again the razor back with the rage finder side and this was a coyote mission needed to be less than 30 meters with the bow so obviously I didn't want to risk it and I used this one okay this was the guide I hope it was helpful and um, thanks for watching and I see you on the next guide good hunting everybody bye